And it's time for another April's April Takeover. I'm Judith Hogue. I played the original April O'Neil in the 1990 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I am geeking out over this series, guys. And I love that you're geeking out with me. It has been so much fun to find out what the process of uh, making an action figure, what, what NECA does. They do such amazing work. And I really, when they had approached me and said, you know, let's work together, I said, I would love that, but I, I want to document the process. So uh, I love that you guys have been into it uh, as much as I have been, but let's keep going. So when last we spoke, uh, Jeff Trapp had finished the paint master. And then when that's done, the figures shipped over to the photography studio and next up is photo approvals. And these photo approvals are then given to the leaseor and to the talent. In this case, that's me. And then when that happens, a copy of the paint master is sent overseas to vendors uh, that NECA works with so that they can begin the, the tooling process that gets this ball rolling. Meanwhile, back in the States, um, NECA's in-house photographer, Stephen Mazurek, uh, he starts photographing it and he's using different sets and backdrops and environments that really have the look and the spirit of the original film. These sets often are dioramas that are customized that have been made in-house at NECA and he can take hundreds of photographs and then the very best ones are uh, selected and then those are used for marketing and packaging when the figure is getting ready to be revealed. Packaging is next and Chris Ramo is the graphic designer on the TMNT movie line and Chris will start designing the packaging that follows the visual identity of NECA's existing packaging in the movie series but also he works really hard to give each character's package its own unique identity. And so the front cover is super important because it's really got to grab your attention and really spotlight the character. So Chris, you know, weighs in with Randy and Trevor and they really work on defining, you know, the look and then selecting something that fans will recognize and really want to keep in their collections. Some people will take that figure out of the box and others will keep it mint in the box and whichever collector you are, they want to make sure that you would want to keep the packaging as part of your collection. And Chris does a really beautiful job of referencing, you know, the movie and the art and the photos and, and then using photo manipulation and editing and lighting and graphic details to create boxes that are just visually really beautiful and something that you'd want to keep in your collection. That is this week's episode. We have one more coming up. If you want extended versions of this with a few more tidbits and details, head on over to my YouTube channel, Judith Hogue, Goddess on Fire. If you like, like it, subscribe, get notifications because I will be dropping some tidbits uh, coming up real soon. Um, and also uh, follow me on Instagram. And if I get a wild hair, I might even throw out a TikTok. It's a bit of a rabbit hole, but I've been known to climb down it. Meanwhile, cowbunga dudes, I will see you next week for another April's April Takeover. <laughs>